If you have a beta of iOS 12.2 and are on AT&T, the 5GE symbol has started to roll out. A new picture of the Galaxy S10 and Pro white color has been published by Evan Blass, and T-Mobile is promising to maintain prices if they merge with Sprint for three years. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, well, definitely Tuesdays are better than Mondays. Mondays are not better than anything, but news are great today. This is Pagan Out Daily. The official news today begin with the gift that keeps on giving, which means Apple's bad results. As uh, we've seen the iPhone SE being sold as refurbished, now we have the iPhone X. Back at it again from the grave, currently for $749 and $899, which means, I mean, come on Apple, like seriously, that's your discount for refurbished products? You get better discounts on Best Buy, I believe, right now for the new ones, but anyways. Now, let's talk about the Moto Z4 Play. I mean, we're hoping that this phone launches soon. And you know that this has always been the premium mid-ranger from Moto that I rarely cover. The reason why I care is because even if it has mid-range specs, apparently it'll include a 48 megapixel camera, provided by none other than the same providers that make the cameras for some of the best Huawei cameras right now. I believe it's called Qpoint. That's the name of the company. So uh, stay tuned. That's actually going to make that mid-ranger interesting. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S10. Obviously the rumors that we keep covering every day, but today from Evan Blast, we have a color option that I actually like. It's pearl white. Uh, we assume that's the name we've been dubbing it. Uh, we don't have an official name yet, but it looks a lot like the Pro white that we get on the Huawei P20 Pro. So uh, yeah, maybe that's the case. I love that color option. And now let's talk about uh, the future of Sprint and T-Mobile, their merger and the FCC, as one of the biggest concerns from the government entity is for prices not to go up, the less companies you have there to compete. And so T-Mobile is promising that they'll keep the prices for three years. But the interesting part is when, if you remember, T-Mobile and Sprint said that the reasons why they wanted to merge is because they wanted to have a more robust company to provide 5G. And we're not expecting 5G to be at the same price as anything that currently exists. So uh, let's see how that ends up. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with a, a very interesting twist. If you have iOS 12.2 beta, you will notice that now the signal bars indicate 5G ES for 5G evolution on AT&T. And uh, well, it's official pretty much from companies right now, AT&T claiming that you will get that indicator if you're in a 5G evolution capable area. And uh, guys, I've run all the tests you could think of showing that the iPhone XS has trouble even providing the same gigabit LTE speeds that you get from devices like the Galaxy Note 9 or even the OnePlus 6T. So uh, in today's question, let us know, what do you think? How would you call this that's happening between Apple and AT&T? I would call it deceiving marketing because we know that even the 2019 iPhones won't have 5G. So what are we gonna call Gigabit LTE 5G now? You know, that's not the way it works. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.